Now that you're ready to record your first video, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. The first thing is that you want to remember these few tips before you start. The first one is to test your microphone to make sure that it's working. If your computer doesn't have a microphone installed, uh, the microphone you can find on a regular set of earbuds works just fine. If you don't have a set of earbuds, you can always get one. The ones that they sell at five below for five bucks work perfectly well. It's always best to open up the application that you plan to record before you get started. So whether you're opening Blackboard or if you're opening a specific program that's unique to your, um, to your class, opening up the internet, anything like that, it's just a smoother recording if you have that ready to go first. Relay only permits you to trim the beginning and end of a recording. So if you make a mistake in the middle there somewhere, you can't cut it out. If you do need some more sophisticated editing features, the TLETC has a recording studio that has full Camtasia, which gives you all the editing capabilities that you would need to use a more sophisticated application. Uh, Patty McAnally can sign that out for you, and if you need some instruction on how to use it, either myself or Russ Pearson is happy to help. And the other thing is to keep your videos relatively short. Um, most people do stop paying attention after about eight minutes, so if you have a long topic to cover, try to break it up into sections. Um, if you are doing a full-blown lecture capture, you have to capture the full video, so there's really not much you can do about that unless you choose to stop your recording and start it again and just have a couple of short sessions. Now that you're ready, you are in your TechSmith Relay login panel. You're going to select your profile if you haven't already done that. And you're going to give your video a title. You notice when I'm speaking, my little audio input level bounces up and down. And that's because my microphone is currently being picked up. There's a couple of things on this particular screen that I wanted to point out. You do have the option right here to test and make a 10 second recording just to verify everything functions correctly. When you do that, your title will be wiped out, so you'll have to re-input that. Up here on top, you have your logout. You have your audio device selection screen. So you can see I've got a couple of different devices that are built into my computer. And if I had my headset plugged in, that option would be here as well. Uh, same thing applies to video. If I click on video and I choose to record my camera, now you can see my face, but in this case I'm not going to record my camera. I just want to record what I have on my screen. Hotkeys gives you the ability to set specific keys to perform specific functions. So whether or not you choose to use those is up to you. And then this one here, software update. If you are using your own computer for Relay, you can go ahead and update the software. However, if it is a college computer and you don't have the ability to do an update, you would have to put in an ITS request for that to happen. So once you're ready to go, you're going to hit record. You're going to get your little countdown on the screen here. And now it's recording whatever I have visible. So in this case, what I want to demonstrate is I wanted to demonstrate something in Blackboard. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a course available. So I'm going to go to my online pedagogy. You can see that it's listed as unavailable. And when I click on that, what the camera is doing is it's literally following my clicks as I move around my screen. So as I do this, I'm going to head all the way down here to customization and then properties. And on my Properties screen, as I scroll down, I can go to my Set Availability and make my course available. Now this is my Sandbox course and it really shouldn't be available to other people, so I'm not really going to make this available. This was just for the purpose of demonstrating how Relay can capture what I'm doing. I'm going to actually cancel out of this. And then when you're finished with your Relay recording, you can just go ahead to stop it and you'll see the Trim screen. So I'm going to stop my relay recording and it's going to bring me my little trim screen. You see I have the ability to trim as I mentioned the beginning or the end so I can move my little timeline up and down either way to decide where I want to trim it. It'll show you kind of the different scenes that present themselves and I can identify where I want that to go and then I would hit my trim button. If I've made a mistake somewhere along the way, I can actually discard this entirely. If I'm happy with my recording and I click on Submit, it's going to send my presentation to the server. 
what that means is it's going to submit it to the CLC relay server, which is housed here on campus. So for you then to actually use this video, you would get an email sent to your campus email telling you that your recording is ready and that you can link to it, whether you choose to put your link in Blackboard or if you just want to give your students an email shooting them the link itself, it will give them the ability to access that video.